Are you looking for a solar generator system? Blue Eddy offers a unique take on this type of product and we're pretty impressed with this energy storage system. I'm James with Nas Solar Electric and today I'm plugging you into solar. We currently offer a variety of products from Blue Eddy, but today I want to dive deep into the EP900 and B500 product line and talk about solar generator systems. A solar generator system is essentially, it could be a portable or a provisional power system. Uh, essentially something that doesn't have to be permanently installed. And, and they're often used when you don't have access to the grid or if the grid is unavailable, I, like power outage or something. So this can be used as a backup system, but what's unique about this one, which we'll go into greater detail, is it doesn't have to just be exclusively that. So the EP900 and B500, this is a really cool platform. Everything looks the same, which is kind of cool. It's good aesthetic. Actually, the top part up here is the EP900. This is the inverter, okay? And these down here, these are the B500s. These are the batteries. You can actually put up to four batteries per one inverter. It gets you up just shy of 20 kilowatt hours. So it's perfect. The EP900, this inverter is a split phase inverter. So to do 120 or 240 volt split phase, okay? So you can feed 120 volt lights, receptacles, 120 volt loads all day long, but you can also do 240 volt loads like a dryer, EV charger, all sorts of fun 240 volt loads. So it's a dual purpose inverter, um, has grid input or gen input, and load output. Uh, the batteries, they're almost five kilowatt hours each. And again, you can put up to four of them in a system. So solar generators can also be connected obviously to solar, right? So we can connect solar modules into the solar generator system. And the solar modules can collect energy from the sun and the solar generator can convert that into usable energy. So it can direct that to AC loads or it can store that solar power into the batteries. And then at night or when there isn't solar energy available, the solar generator can then invert that and provide that stored energy that's been put into the batteries to feed loads. So the EP900, the inverter platform, is really cool because it has incorporated DC and PPTs. So you can take the solar array and actually tie it directly into the inverter and manage all that solar power directly through this platform. It'll take that energy from the solar array and store it into the batteries. But what's also very unique about this platform is it's, it can be used with AC coupled solar. So if you have an existing solar array with a grid tie inverter, you can incorporate this energy storage system in with that AC coupled solar array and it can utilize the solar power from the solar array to charge the batteries and use that. It can also disconnect from the grid and work and function as an energy storage system independent of the grid. So like I said, this, it, this platform can be a grid interactive system. That's what makes it very unique. It's not just a solar generator. It's a, it can be used as a full ESS system right? Permanently installed, coupled with an AC coupled solar array or DC coupled, it can export power to the grid. It has a built-in MID, microgrid interconnecting device that allows it to disconnect from the grid in the event of a power failure, okay? Protecting the linemen, it disconnects, it keeps your loads, the, the, the power electronics that you want powered up during a grid failure active, okay? So very few of these products on the market are a true multimodal system. Okay, that can be incorporated into a residence in a permanent installation. Most of the time, these things are considered provisional, like non-permanently installed, and you certainly can use it that way. But again, very unique product that it can be a multimodal grid interactive system. You do not have to export power to the grid, but this thing can actually sell solar power in the event the batteries are fully charged and all the loads are satisfied, it can sell solar power back to the grid. The final thing to say about this product is that it is IP65 rated. So it can be installed indoors, it can be installed outdoors. You do want to make sure you're probably not getting this thing blasted by rain and such, and you definitely don't want to be the sun baking down on it. So you need to pick your installations wisely. But it does make it quite useful to be outdoors. You go on a porch, go in the garage, you don't have to worry about splashing the water, getting in, harming anything or damaging anything, damaging the electronics. So I think that's pretty unique outdoor rated solution with the ESS all as one package. Now, we're gonna go ahead and break out. We're gonna 
build this thing up and show you how easy it is to assemble and kind of go through some of the connections and various uh, specific aspects of the product. All right, I'm here with my colleague, Benjamin. Hey. And we're gonna disassemble this battery bank energy storage system and pull it apart and then reassemble it so you can see how easy it is to put together. So we have the base set down here. We're gonna go ahead and drop our first battery onto it and it fits into some grooves there and secures pretty well. All right, so that's fit into the base. Now, these batteries have a quick connect on them. So we already have them kind of put into place. It makes our lives a little easier. They just snap right in. We'll show you this in a minute. We'll grab the next battery, throw it on here. Okay. And then really just to hook up the high voltage DC between the batteries, all you do is just plug it in. You listen for the click. All right, we'll grab the next battery. Now, each of these batteries also have a communication cable that goes between them. So this communication cable just locks in here. It's all weather tight connections. And it's pretty simple. The battery plugs into the next battery and so on. And then the inverter will plug into the inverter port. Yep, so we'll hook these battery connections. It all says pack link, which essentially is for the battery packs. And then you have the inverter link, which will be the last one. We grab the next battery. We're gonna do four batteries on this on this one. Now this, this is the inverter link here. So currently we have four batteries, and now we're gonna go grab the power control system. And then the inverter link will hook in over here. So now the inverter is connected to all the batteries. And we'll put the power in. And then on this side, you'll want to make sure you do the grounding strap between the inverter and each of the batteries and so on. So once you have all of them assembled, each of these batteries comes with a cover. So once you have all your connections made and whatnot, you'll go ahead and pop the cover on. That's gonna conceal all the wiring. Even the inverter has a cover that conceals it. And then once you, actually before you put the covers on, what you wanna do is you wanna put your anchors in. So this will essentially tie to a wall. Obviously this thing's freestanding right now. So if it wasn't tied to a wall, it'd be kind of a risk, fall risk. So each of the batteries has an anchor that will tie into the wall and you can strap it to the wall. Then you put all your covers on. That conceals all your wiring on the high voltage DC side. And then over here on the inverter, we have the high, this is all your AC wiring here. So there's a wire box that goes in here with one inch knockouts. So you basically run in all your AC wiring split phase, so it's four wire. You have L1, L2, neutral ground. And then that all wires in here, you have your grid input and you have your backup loads. And then you pop it in this, have some screws that hold it in place. And you'll run either, if you're outdoors, liquid tight or flex to a junction box and then carry on your wiring into your essential load center or your backup loads center. And then obviously to your main breaker on the grid panel, on your load panel for the home. It's really that simple. Blue Eddy has the option to monitor loads that are in your house before the inverter system. To do that, they provide you with some CT so that you will wire in your main electrical panel. And then this cable will plug right here into the CT port. It's also watertight and it only plugs in one way. And now the unit will be able to display loads between the inverter and your utility service. The next step in this setup is to install the Wi-Fi Bluetooth dongle. This is gonna allow us to use their app to configure the inverter, turn it on, and to remotely monitor. So up here we'll have the link port, 
We're gonna install this. It's also watertight and it just clicks in. This, there's a mount that can be mounted to the wall just outside of the unit to get better Wi-Fi access. So after we've made our AC connections through our wa watertight connection here, we're gonna screw this to the unit and then we're gonna install the other cover. And that takes a few more screws. Now we're ready to install this side. So we're gonna install the cover just like we did the other side. And we're gonna put in a few screws here. Now we're ready to power up the unit. We're gonna start by turning on all the battery breakers and then we'll push the battery button to turn it on. You're gonna to wanna to push and hold the button for about two, three seconds until the green light appears. And then a moment later, the inverter will power up. Once the green light here has a powered up, we'll be able to turn on the output of the inverter using the app. You're gonna to wanna to download the app and go to Bluetooth in the app. There, we're gonna find the inverter. It usually starts with an EP9 and the serial number of the unit. There we can hit settings and turn on the inverter using the system switch. And then you're gonna hear a click and then it will be able to power your loads. Here's the overview of the inverter. It's currently not on, so we don't see any, any, any information. We'll be able to click here at the gear, turn on the system using the system switch. Now the inverter's on, able to power all our loads. So I just wanted to show how easy it is to put something like this together. This platform really is simple. What do you think, Benjamin? Very easy to install. All the connections are pre-made. No special equipment needed to make connections. Just a screwdriver, wrench, a few things like that. All the terminals are plug and play. They just snap right in. Definitely make sure to have somebody else help you lift them. They're not light, but they're easy to manage. Yeah, the whole thing is just easy to put together. And make sure you anchor to the wall. But other than that, it doesn't get a whole lot easier than this, pro this product. If you have any questions, visit our learning center. There's a lot of information, all sorts of information about batteries, about equipment that we offer. Visit our website, like this video, subscribe to our channel. We have more content coming. Our team is here to help you. We're here to design systems for you. If you have any projects you're working on, something unique, you're looking for a unique solution, we're here to put these systems together. You can talk to an engineer like myself or Benjamin. I got a whole team of people here that design systems. That's all we do all day long. So we're here to help you plug into solar.